Chrysler models equipped with a Total Integrated Power Module, or TIPM, may exhibit a fuel pump relay control circuit failure. When the key is removed from the vehicle and the engine is off, the fuel pump may continue to run. To confirm this symptom, check fuel pump activation with the vehicle off and the key removed from the ignition. Working at the TIPA module in the engine compartment, remove the fuel pump fuse, fuse M2520 amp, located in the TIPA. Install the fuel pump fuse into a fuse breakout loop. Then install the fuse breakout loop into the fuel pump fuse location. Using a lab scope and a low amp probe, measure fuel pump current. If fuel pump current is present with the engine off and the key removed, the TIPM is faulty, activating the fuel pump when it should not be on. The internal relay in the TIPM is shorted and can be bypassed by installing an external relay. Begin by removing the TIPM from the engine compartment. Follow the latest service information for the procedure. An external relay repair harness is available to bypass the faulty internal relay. The part kit will be specific to the VIN of the vehicle you're working on. However, it is possible to modify a kit to be used in a vehicle with a TIPM fault without an available repair kit. Use the wiring diagram for the vehicle you're working on to determine terminal assignments and repair kit installation. Locate the TIPM 40 way connector. Remove the electrical connector and harness protectors. Locate the TIPM black 50 way connector. Then, carefully trim back the wiring harness sheath, exposing the wiring harness. Work carefully not to damage the wiring. Locate the TIPM 40 way connector. Remove the electrical connector and harness protectors. Then, carefully trim back the wiring harness sheath, exposing the wiring harness. Work carefully not to damage the wiring. Working at the brown 40 way connector, locate the dark blue orange wire at terminal 10. This is the fuel pump power feed. Using a small flat blade screwdriver, pry up the green connector lock and remove it from the connector. Working at terminal 38 pink, light green wire, use a small pick to unlock and hold the terminal lock while pulling the wire straight out of the connector. Using wire strippers and strip back about a quarter inch of insulation to expose the wire. Cut the dark blue orange wire at terminal 10. This is where the repair kit relay terminal 87 will connect. Strip back about a half inch of insulation on the harness side of the wire. Working at the black 50 way connector, locate the brown wire. Cut this wire and strip back about a half inch of insulation on the harness side of the wire. Splice terminal 85 from the repair kit to terminal 38 pink light green wire. Solder the splice together. Install heat shrink tube with sealer over splice and heat and shrink until sealant escapes from each end.
Working at the black 50-way connector brown wire, connect and solder terminal 85 from repair kit harness to harness side of brown wire. Working at the brown 40-way connector, locate the dark blue-orange wire at terminal 10. Connect and solder terminal 87 from the repair kit to the harness side of brown wire. Install terminal 38 pink light green wire back into connector. Be sure terminal lock is engaged. Install green connector lock. Press in until fully seated. Tape wiring harness and protective sheath, then reinstall connector protective covers. Reinstall connector locking lever, slide over connector and engage onto pivots. Reinstall TIPM connectors, then install TIPM module in reverse order of removal. Working at the Terminal 30 connection on the repair kit, install heat shrink tube over the wire. Then crimp on an eyelet. You can also add solder to the eyelet to further secure the connection. Heat and shrink until sealant escapes from each end. Mount the repair kit relay to an accessible location. Our subject vehicle has a pre-drilled hole that will work well. Using the supplied self-tapping fastener, secure the relay in place. Reconnect Terminal 30 cable to the TIPM stud. Next, install Terminal 30 from the repair kit relay to the TIPM stud and tighten the nut. Chrysler does not supply a fuse for this circuit, however we suggest adding an inline 25 amp fuse here. Reassemble remaining items and start vehicle. Shut vehicle off and confirm fuel pump no longer runs with the engine off and key removed.